Hello fellow old schoolers and welcome to the second match of the tournament of the Eel Castle Cup 2.0. This match is between Mono Black, my deck and Disco Trolls. Let's go over Disco Trolls here. We see it's uh, red, blue and black and it actually is pretty light on the Nivenerals discs only using two of them here. Now usually a setup like this will revolve around these uh, set trolls in combination with the disc where you activate the disc and then blow everything up but your set trolls survive and can get in for attacks in the next turn. Uh, they're also your primary line of defense against ground creatures. But this is a bit lighter on the discs, instead we have, he has opted in for some underworld dreams just to ping the other guy. Uh, usually we don't see them as much in disco trolls because uh, yeah they'll get blown up by those discs. But it is another way to um, uh, hit the other guy besides his uh, big creatures uh, like Jusim Jins, a couple of those and three sushis and those aforementioned set trolls that will provide his ground forces uh, just to really put pressure on the other guy. Uh, the Underworld Dreams is part of the burn strategy where we have uh, four lightning bolts and a fireball as well. And the Underworld Dreams can work in combination with the Wheel of Fortune and the Time Twister for big bursts of damage. We also have a single shatter at the top uh, of those red cards to the left there. Uh, that might be in there against Mirror Universe or I don't know, um, uh, particular artifacts that might annoy him. Uh, for black we also have the uh, black power in terms of uh, of the Demonic Tutor and Mind Twist, and for blue we have the blue power and a single Brain Geyser. And then we have the Chaos Orb that rounds out the deck. So that is uh, the particular brew here. We don't see his sideboard, there's a single Hercules Recall at the top there, which can be used uh, with the disc, um, but we don't know what else in there. But uh, yeah, that is my opponent uh, for the second match here. A lot of power. Uh, only the on color boxen though. The blue, uh, uh, the mono black deck, we've, I've gone over that deck uh, in more detail in the first round of the tournament, uh, so I won't go into uh, too much detail here and just uh, really just um, repeat myself. So this picture is just here for reference. If you want uh, a more in depth view of it, well, well, I can link to the first match of the tournament in, a, uh, in the description of this video and you can watch that afterwards. So this is the matchup, the Disco Trolls or Troll Disco coming up against uh, Mono Black. And we have Disco Trolls on the left here on that uh, uh, playmat made by Jesper Icing actually. Uh, one of the local artists in Denmark, so he has made a bunch of uh, magic cards especially in more modern uh, versions. And me on the Sorcerer's Queen playmat on the right there. You can actually see my hand. I think it is a bit mana starved actually. Um, but we're giving it a good think, both of us here. Okay, um, I seem to be mulliganing the first hand. Uh, let's hope that we'll actually get something usable uh, or useful uh, in the second hand here. We'll cut a bit forward while I shuffle through the deck. Okay, so let's see if that says anything usable here. Yeah, there is. Okay, so keeping the hand on six cards. I think this control is on the play. Factory. Singles form, Dark Ritual. Ooh, Underworld Dreams turn one. It's always nice to get out there immediately. Uh, before he has used his ancestor recall and whatever he plays with badlands into a mox oh sinkholing yeah <laughs> the swamp here so strip mining his factory don't want him getting in for free here i can't really handle strip uh, factories that well because i don't have disenchanter bolts otherwise that would it would look like it would be better to sinkhole the badlands but factories are actually kind of annoying when you're mono black Okay, Ancestor Recall here, taking even more damage from the Underworld Dreams. So the Underworld Dreams has done 5 points of damage already. It's nice to get it out early like this. Especially as a disc control or troll disco can't really remove it without a disc. Factory coming down here. Now we see Mono Black is kind of slow. Um, it has the Dark Rituals but no real power. So it is, uh, in the beginning it's just 
putting down lanes one at a time here. Dark ritual. Oh, mind twisting, it seems. Oh, man. Mind twist for four as a swamp, a sinkhole, a Dusum Jin, and a single vampire. So I'm really mana starved here. Only a single factory. Drew another factory. And I can't even attack because, yeah, I'm trying to here, but he's just he just uses his Mace of Ith. He's tapped out, but can't get in. Now there's a soldering on his side. So he's ahead and an assisted recall, a mulligan, an extra draw, and a mind twist of four. <laughs> Hello. There's a Dusum Jin. So taking a spoon of my own medicine here. Unanswered Dusum Jin. I'm mana starved. At least it pings him, but here he comes. And there's a sushi. Oh my. It's nine points of damage next turn. We really need. Yeah, still mana stop. Draw, draw a sushi here. He does take two points of damage each turn. One from the Dusum Jin and one from the Underworld Dreams, but he does nine damage right back. <laughs> Talk about. This is going to be quick. Uh, no. It seems to. What? Is he giving his sushi back? No, he's attacking with it. Okay, I'm blocking the Dusum Jin because I don't want to get burned out. I'm trying to block it, but he just bolts it. All right, so I'm taking nine, down to six. Now the reason I blocked there was because a double bolt otherwise would end me. So <laughs> he just runs away with it here. So much. Uh, power here with that mind twist on top of it. That's game. Troll Disco takes the first one, one to zero. Now it's back to sideboarding here. Now I'm not even sure what I'm against. I saw Jusum Jins and I saw Sushi uh, and blue, red and black. Now I actually, I don't know if I'll put in Terrace. I probably should because otherwise those Sitch Trolls will be kind of, will be really annoying against my Jusum Jins because I can't remove them. But I'm not even sure if I'll do that because I, I need to have read the deck uh, precisely because all I've seen is uh, creatures that are immune to terrors. We shall see. Let's uh, cut forward. Uh, I don't know what he'll put in. Like it won't be a lot. We don't know what's in his sideboard either. Control magic perhaps could be kind of cool. Maybe one more disc against the dreams. Take his wheel and time twister out. I don't know. Um, we shall see. Let's go to round number two. Seems like a hard matchup. This one, at least we're on the play. Ooh, Mox Jet. <laughs> that's the only one in there, so that's pretty nice getting that immediately. We have some tempo now. Ooh, Library of Alexandria though. I wonder if we'll have a sinkhole. It's pretty damn crucial. Yep, we do. He draws with the library immediately. So he gets uh, that going. Uh, a single draw out of it. Didn't cost him anything, but it did cost him a lane drop. The crucial thing is when he's when he has been mulliganed and he has a library on the on the draw, he actually has a discard here. So we are decidedly ahead uh, straight from the get-go here. Putting down a Dusum Jin. Now, will there be a Mace of Ith? That's the problem. We have already used a Sinkhole. Nope, just a Badlands here. And a Soaring. Oh, that could be. Oh, I thought it was a, a troll. He might twist me for two. Okay, he picks me. One card. Oh, it takes an Underworld Dreams. That's too bad. I would have loved to have that. Um, could have cast it next turn just to keep him in check um, so that additional draws would damage him. But it's fine, coming in for seven. <laughs> Here we go. Payback time with the Dusum Jin. He needs a, he drew a uh, Dusum Jin, he's a second uh, black mana source and he hasn't, doesn't seem to have that. He has a strip mine. He could strip mine my factory here. Dark Ritual though. Oh, he has a Dark Ritual, he can get a Dusum Jin out. No, he's sinkholes, okay. He plays a Sushi. Okay, now we'll each, each do five points of damage to each of us here. And then he's, okay, and he destroys the swamp. 
Now he knew that he might switch to the single swamp, so he might mana starve me here. I can't follow up with additional big beaters. Oh, but there's a fourth mana source. Oh, paralyzing his sushi. Yeah, because otherwise he could get in for four, and it's, it's a do, do some just one damage to me. It is actually pretty damn annoying. Now, if he wants to untap his sushi, he needs to do that before he draws. Okay, so he does so here. Now, he'll likely just block with it, because uh, it's not worth much now. But it did hold him back an entire turn. No, he doesn't. He lets it in. Okay. Now, he likely tries to get a lightning bolt, then he'll block and lightning bolt to do some gin. Down to three points of life, though. Mock Sapphire. Out of disc controls. Oh, we could also double block with the sushi and the factory. And I could only take one of them. Uh, with me. So, he does have defensive options here. Unless I can draw something to destroy that uh, factory. Might draw a sinkhole. He has a lightning bolt in hand, so we can actually block with the sushi and bolt as well. Time walking here. Oh, and coming in for six. Ouch. Putting a uh, big bad booby down to 11 points of life. Now, will he untap his sushi? That's four mana again. It will cost him an entire phase. Now he keeps it tapped. Drew into an, an incest recall here. He really needs to get something out here, otherwise, he'll be dead. 11 points of life left on uh, Big Bad Boogie, coming in for 5 each turn. Down to 10. Jusmjin comes lumbering over here, snarling. Now he blocks with the factory. Well, he bought the Jusm. Nope. Okay, play a land. Oh, what's this? Oh, Singer Vampire. Finally, the fifth mana source here. That's nine points of damage each turn, and this Singer flies over. Can even fly over that sushi. Um, so he's really on the ropes here. Uh, it pauses a bit. I have passed the turn at this point. It's giving it a good think. Looks like he's considering what to do in, in, at my end step. He might have some instant speed spells here. Oh, going down to two. Double bolting me. Okay. Oh, putting Big Bad Booty down to four points of life here. A Sonic Blast in this game. Actually, a Lightning Bolt, and I'll die in my upkeep. So that's probably. That's actually pretty well played because it's only out. Even if he double bolts this, this thing gear. Let's see if he gets a bolt. Or if he has a something, a fireball, would be usable as well. Oh, a wheel of fortune here. Okay, so he didn't have a bolt. <laughs> now he has seven draws and an untapped city of brass. He can go down to one point of life using that city of brass. Does he get a bolt? Place a volcanic island. Hmm. Demonic Tutor here. Going down to one point of life, look at this. That's the bolt. <laughs> Damn it. Putting me down to one point of life here. Now in my upkeep, I can play a fast effect uh, or an instant speed. I cast a dark ritual. <laughs> That's for good measure, and then I die to my own Jusim Jin. Oh man, really just snatched a victory here from the jaws of defeat, being down to one point of life, and I was at 11 or something like that and just in one go, then uh, double bolting me, not drawing a follow-up, then wheeling, not drawing a follow-up, but managing to get one more red mana source, being able to, the suits are going down to one point of life by the City of Brass, getting the bolt and using that final red mana source to bolt me out, putting me down to one point of life. I mean, everything just had to click <laughs> for that out in one go. Pretty damn epic, but I lost this one two to zero. Um, so, very um, typical of uh, Mono Black, I feel. Uh, either, either you win big or you lose big. <laughs> but I think this could, uh, in all honesty, this, this game could have gone easily the other way. Uh, I kind of feel like he snatched it here, but pretty damn epic. Great ending. 
So it's 1-1 at this point. I still have to do better than other mono black brews. Um, so we'll have to see in the next one if uh, Big Bad Boogie can actually uh, recuperate that loss or uh, if, I'm, if I'm just gonna, going to get pummeled here. <laughs> Stay tuned for that. I'll catch you in the next one.